cyberpunks and retro nerds, it's Tommy the Hammer coming at you guys on a Monday. We're going to be checking out the film The Neon Demon. And you know what? I've already watched this movie. I love it a lot, but you know, I've been wanting to do a review of this film uh, for a little bit now, and I'm finally getting around to it. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out again. I love this movie. It's fantastic. I'm going to be showing you guys the trailer. It's a real good one. And when we get back, we're going to be discussing the Neon Demon a little bit. You know what my mother used to call me? Dangerous. speaking guys I'm a huge fan of this director's work now bear with me here I'm probably gonna mispronounce his name it's director Nicholas Winding Refn and you guys might be familiar with his prolific film starring Ryan Gosling called Drive he also made an amazing fantasy movie called Valhalla Rising which is probably my favorite work by the director but I gotta say the Neon Demon is definitely a close second to that. This movie is just hauntingly beautiful in its cold aesthetic and neon bright cinematography. It just captivates my attention from beginning to end. And whereas the story itself is, you know, serviceable enough, um, I gotta admit, I like where it goes. I like where this movie ends up. And, you know, I have read a few reviews online where people kind of complain that the movie goes off the rails by, you know, the final frame and that a lot of the plot elements are illogical or just outright insane. But you know what, guys? That's exactly why I liked it. That little bit of horror at the end of the film really solidifies, you know, this director's overall vision and message. So I highly recommend The Neon Demon, especially if you guys are fans of Dario Argento's early work. If you're into that sort of thing, then I can definitely recommend The Neon Demon. Out of 10 stars, I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10.